All right, so this should be a very, very quick kind of tutorial because basically we're just looking at kind of making it all nice and pretty ready for printing. So you can see at the moment, we've got some really uh, ugly kind of lines here, right? For our SketchUp model, which is going to kind of print it with less than ideal quality. So if we select this, right? Select our isometric um, image here, come over to our right hand side and we've got our SketchUp model. Now this here is referencing everything that we kind of put in, right? So we've got our isometric view up, we've got um, an ortho at a one to 50 and we're preserving scale. So we've set all that up in a previous tutorial. If you're unsure about all that, feel free to go back to that, that video, right? The other thing that we can do is put on shadows and fog if we really, really want to. So if we put on shadows, it's kind of going to load for us. And there you go, we can now see a shadow, right? So you may or may not want to do that. We're going to turn them back off, right? The other thing, in order to remove this kind of really ugly edges, is down here we've got our line scale, okay? And at the moment it's set to raster and we've got these different point values. Obviously we can change these point values, right? Let that load up, right? I'm not seeing too many changes with that. The big thing that we actually want to change, right, when we select this, is change from raster and put it over to a vector, right? It'll ask us vector rendering while good in line drawings cannot represent complex shapes. That's fine, click OK. And now when we click it, notice how it's cleaned everything up, right? And that's where our line scale comes in and we can kind of drop that back down to a 0.2 and now we've got a nice kind of line weight there as well. Obviously we've got different kind of autos and stuff as well, right? We're not too kind of concerned with that. All right, so I would go and go through each of our different drawings, all right? So this viewport for our section, and then this one here, and I would change both of these to a vector. Again, it'll come up dialog, click OK. It makes them a lot nicer, a lot cleaner, all right? And then we can go up to file, and we can go print, all right? And we can run through the standard printing options. The big ones that I'm obviously going to check is obviously preferences. Make sure that we have the proper thing selected in advance. So make sure you've actually got the proper paper size. Click OK, click OK, all right? And then you guys should be ready to print it. Now, the other thing you've got is Microsoft Print to PDF, all right? And maybe you want to do that instead. So if I run that, it should print it to a PDF document. All right, now it's kind of come up a dialog box. All right, and now you can see it's being saved as a PDF and now I can navigate um, over to the desktop or my preferred um, file save location. Anyway, guys, I think that will get you guys pretty much through all of SketchUp and Trimble's layout. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, and I will guys see you guys on the next video.